Guys, today I will show you simply the best no uber rogue setup to slay the dungeon which we received yesterday. This build will work from tier 1 till tier 10. I reached today tier 9 with this setup without breaking a sweat. Of course you have to level up, but I will reveal dirty seeker brother. Every goddamn setup which will reach tier 10 plus uh, dungeons or uh, tiers or difficulty you name it has to upgrade new glyph he will or she will not be able to get through the content without upgraded glyph so this build will work for new players casuals and people who doesn't have 26 hours each day to grind this game and level up it like there is tomorrow because the grind jesus f in christ what they have done with this glyph is beyond me you need to grind 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 nevertheless let's dive into this setup which is absolutely amazing no uber uniques nothing and it will work at the hardest possible difficulty in the game right now from tier 1 till tier 10 so in this setup we are not using a crest or shake of uh, uber mask but we are stacking actually more resistance now we have more armor and our dark shrouds which we will gain from our amulet basically non-stop will have more damage reduction and with this crazy attack speed which we have in this setup oh my goodness you will get those shrouds basically non-stop and that increased armor resistance helps or damage resistance helps us a lot on my chest piece of course i'm gaining extra armor with Potion, Iron Skin, you could reach 13k armor, so maybe you could switch the talent on chest piece for extra damage reduction aspect, but it is what it is. For the gear itself, guys, the most hardest part, I would say, is to find uh, two unique daggers. Condemnation and Kachars, Kachars, I will not try to pronounce the dagger. In a nutshell, he is giving you extra attack speed and you can farm this dagger from Lord Zir but goddamn to find it with decent attributes and god roll the aspect oh good luck you will need it brother uh, for the gloves of course I'm using uh, aspect where you applying vulnerable and you're gonna daze enemies uh, real easily so vulnerability will be applied with puncture you apply vulnerability hit those enemies and they are dazed for days uh, Penton Grievous Pants, pretty self-explanatory, combined with Condemnation, combo point, exploit is not fixed, we have tons of combo points, Condemnation, I have God Rolled basically, just the way Penton and Grievous Pants, God Rolled and Boots, I have damage reduction, fire resistance, although with better rolls I would uh, basically cap out fire resistance as well. In terms of my vampiric powers, I'm using moon rays in this one. I changed quite a bit my vampiric powers now. I have moon rays. I have all vampiric powers that are increasing my attack speed, metamorphosis to proc unstoppable, but we can proc unstoppable as well with shadow step. I threw away from my setup concealment skill. I replaced it with um, poison trap. Poison trap knocks down enemies, slows down enemies. It gives me extra defensive layer. So only way how to proc unstoppable right now is by using metamorphosis, vampiric power and shadow step in this build. So Ashar's Kachnar a uh, dagger is pain in the ass but you to find it but if you don't have it you can replace it easily with something like this very hard damage to close enemies all stats dexterity and of course maybe vulnerable damage and damage to close enemies again or maybe damage to crowd control enemies and of course uh, aspect should be used where you by using your basic skills you are increasing next core skill damage so if you don't have the dagger which is increasing your dps output don't worry you can replace it with simple weapon so again new player friendly to reach maximum possible tiers and have fun in the game without twisting blades bs and poison shit and all that shenanigans but if you don't want to grind and you still want to have all the best items in your game i would recommend you deving.net guys they will help you to get any item in the game in any game i shall say division 2 diablo 4 you name it 
Use my promo code RBDIP or RBD to receive 15% discount on absolutely all services. But now let's get back to the main part of this setup. Skill tree is kind of self-explanatory. Of course, we're gonna use uh, a rapid fire puncture. We are using siphoning strikes. That's the biggest change in this setup. Actually, with all this crazy attack speed, we're gonna heal ourselves really, really well. DPS is not a problem with combo point exploit. So only thing you have to worry about is to survive everything. So for that reason, we will use Dark Shrouds. Dark Shrouds are boosted with our aspect on the mask. So we have like 20% re damage reduction easily with Dark Shrouds. We have Poison Imbuement, Freeze Imbuement and uh, Fridge Finesse. Again, to deal that crazy damage buff. Uh, yeah, Adrenaline Rush, Haste and uh, these are the best DPS perks you could use in your skill tree and we're gonna close all the things with combo points, of course with combo points. So my skill tree is still in works guys, what I mean by that I'm still trying to figure out all the best combination between new glyph which we got with basically yesterday with all the old glyphs we had like uh, closer and stuff like that so i'm still looking for that perfect mix balance or perfect uh, combination which is give me maximum possible dps right now i'm using my old six paragon board setup and uh, i too basically took away imbuement skill damage buff and i replaced it with new paragon glyph rest is pretty much the same and I took away vulnerable damage buff as well, so I'm still testing out, I'm still switching uh, Paragon board here and there guys, because the thing why you have to make a test, because some para board, boards, Paragon boards, excuse me, have better uh, glyphs for your build, for example if you are using Rogue you need of course dexterity, so some glyphs or Paragon boards will provide you with more dexterity attributes. Some will give you more intelligence, some will give you more strength, so that also is really important factor when you are choosing where to use this um, new Tears of Blood glyph. So yeah, I'm still testing, but this is right now. I definitely will update my build, so have fun. See you in the next one, bye!